All right, click the link to join the channel. Become a member here over at Subscribestar now over at Odyssey. Thanks to 16 new members over there. If you guys want a treat, go on a Twitter and look up Vouch and look at the uh, kind of cartoons he's uh, he's into. It's like, oh, gee, a, a fat communist is into um, animals and children. Shocking. Who saw Ray Charles saw that one coming. Uh, uh, if you're an SJW, please turn off the video. You won't enjoy it, and your comments annoy me all day. It's like 10 paragraphs from a 300-pound soy boy who's blue-haired freaking weirdo with his fat little fingers waddling all over the keyboard. So Gina Carano, marginalized and oppressed woman of color who is disenfranchised by the globalist Disney lizard people and they are. Are those scales? I don't know. So um, the short version is that the globalist vermin at Disney are using their $150 billion company to push stochastic terrorism and victimize hashtag our girl Gina Carano. The goal, she was uh, on the Mando, and that was kind of the only thing. The Mandalorian for Disney, I think, was the turnaround point. And what did they do with that turnaround point? Uh, they effed it in the A and gave it monkeypox. They fired her for for not using pronouns and then they um are not using the right ones not it's just like it's just part of the humiliation ritual at this stage of sodom and gomorrah and then what else did she do oh she released a post saying you shouldn't um you shouldn't marginalize and oppress um uh conservatives or right of center people it's like these are your friends and neighbors and don't let a little very mild politics and you know i looked the whole left right divide like people on, on the more so on the left, I think, are worked out. But if you're on the left or the right and you're worked up over politics, that concept of wings of the same bird, um, when you really look at how ineffectual they are, or they're all playing for the same team. Like there's this, you have to look, you have to like get another dimension to it and look up above it. And you're like, oh, it really is wings of the same bird. They're playing for a, ta a, a team and that team's not for us. They have all, they have other motives usually lining their pockets with taxpayer-funded money. It's like, gee, it's, you know, vote left and right, and the country just kind of gets worse. There's, like, these expanding homeless tent cities where if you see vans in suburbs now. It's like, oh, people are living in them. Yeah, yeah, vote our guy this time. Vote left or right. We're going to work on hate speech laws. <laughs> like, you have homeless tent cities throughout San Francisco. If you're out California, Oregon, Washington, you're, you're worried about hate speech laws? Yeah, that's the real important issue. Oh, that, that's weird. This this seems like where's so there's like billions going to um foreign countries and you have again homeless tent cities throughout america maybe do something about no 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 more money to more taxpayer money overseas that i don't think you're going to vote your way out of this <laughs> anyway so the um the goal is to send a message that if you're against the disney anti-white anti-family narrative they'll defame you and try to get the mentally ill and dangerous SJW BLT GP group to focus on you and do violence to you. You know, they're pawns too. It's like it's hard to hate useful idiots. There's this uh, segment of uh, toxic, mentally unstable kids. And after a while, they just become kind of junkies online who think that they're victims of some sort of genocide. I mean, people are so desperate for tribalism, but they've been brainwashed by globalist media not to have the ultimate tribalism, which is your blood tribe, and forming structure and networks that way because the TV told them that was bad for them. So they, they, they joined the Bolshevik found family and you like try to explain this to them. Some of them get it to their credit. They, they look at it and they go, oh, this is like just kind of history repeating. We've been played. Yes, yes. Tribalism, yes, is good. Bolshevik found family, uh, that's not going to work out. Anyway, so they, they think there's there's some, all these protests where they, they keep saying there's some kind of like BLT genocide going on. And there's not. I mean, if... If there's any issue with the protagonist and antagonist are uh, actually more than in the same room they're in the same body if you read between the lines there so we're at the stage of sodom because people need structure and order and this is just clown world commercial zone run by people who vacation on that island off the coast of florida with the uh, the blue and white uh horizontal paint job weird weird so it's a uh, it's a city mentality that causes this YMR mental illness. Uh, the people bowling alone concept from that, that book. 
But now with cell phones and social media, people can be alone in crowds with digital parasocial relationships anywhere. Is it Philip K. Dick who wrote that short story about uh, some house, some burglar breaks into a house and saves this girl who is committing a Sudoku with the virtual reality glasses. And he was a, he took care of her and they had a relationship afterwards. Uh, Maybe it was Philip K. Dick or William Gibson, kind of that kind of vibe. So the people online might not even be real. Everything behind that screen could be an advanced artificial intelligence and people wouldn't know it. So you have these unbalanced kids. It's the 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 the, the meme of uh, who's that guy? Stone Toss, where the guy is in on the beach and his girlfriend's telling him to take off the virtual reality glasses, enjoy the scenery, and he and he does. And then the next panel is he's still wearing virtual reality glasses, but he's in some you know some some horrific third world basement type of stuff. It's the nightmare within the nightmare. It just gets worse and worse. Um, anyway, so what these these kids do is you got these unbalanced kids who are desperate for structure that their parents and the society is not, not giving them because uh, they were raised by TV and social media. And at this point, it's multi-generational TV propaganda. And so they have to say they're trans, furry, other kids so they can identify as special and put themselves on the top of this hier- hierarchy that I don't, they didn't create it, you know, Frankfurt School, Saul Alinsky type of stuff, but they, um, since they write the articles for the online digital magazine type of stuff, they, and they have a pretty decent uh, social media following on Twitter, they put themselves at the top of the hierarchy. And even Dave Chappelle pointed it out where he goes, you know, I can't change who I am. My characteristics actually are immutable. And these blue haired, you know, weirdos are just like, oh, no, 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 it's immutable for us too. We were born this way or like whatever. Okay, I, I mean, I think it looks like all Weimar degeneracy to me in a uh, dead civilization where kids have to outdo each other with the external morphology of the silly blue hair and the piercings. And it's actually to the point where if you have a bunch of them at some nonsense event and they all have the exact same shade of blue hair and nose piercings <laughs> where they're so unique that they become clones of each other. So they have to up the ante and become, you know, gay, furry, whatever, and start blowing anything that moves so they can get more attention. And when someone comes along and laughs at the nonsense of their fake pronouns and says their pronouns are, in this case, beep, beep, then uh, then they get outraged because you're you're shining a light on, it, on their silly, childish behavior. There's the masculine and feminine form. You're male or female. Your gendered language, I think, matches your, your biology where it's almost every cell in your body. Uh, I think except for the sperm and egg cells is going to match that uh, that biological binary. If you were born a man, you will die a man. That's immutable. So uh, these teenagers are really just fat, lonely, bored kids who are eating and playing video games and they're desperate for attention. And the, the best thing they could do would be put the video games, or I mean, take the video game out in the woods with your trusty... Uh, deuce deuce and use it for uh use it for practice it's like yeah you could sell it online but i think the psychological um catharsis of uh you know putting a couple of uh high velocity um uh, pills in it would be better for your your spiritual health because it is it's this like the video game machine is is this machine and then you know get off a get off a mainstream social media get on the old social media and start exercising and eating less Instead, they join this toxic left-wing cult, this echo chamber, where it reaffirms. It's like, oh, you mean I can do anything I want to do as long as it's self-destructive and it's not it's not a tribalism based on on um, on uh, the hemoglobin sort of thing? Yeah, yeah, the globalists tell you. Yes, yes, yes. You can do anything you want. Drugs, sex, anything, as long as you don't have in-group preferences. Oh, that's weird. kind of means I should have in-group preferences. It's like that's what we're doing on alt media. We're starting new alternative communities based on uh, our love tribe, so to speak. So um, that's the right-hand path, is exercise and uh, learning what a fruit and vegetable is. And, you know, you can do a lot of this stuff in a, in a backyard garden, growing things. or Some stuff is remarkably easy. Uh, the squash family has turned out to be fascinating. But uh, acorn squash, start with acorn squash. But instead, they uh, grow this toxic left-wing cult and, and think they have to take drugs and cut their nuts off. No, you need to go jogging, lift a few weights, get a little home garden going, and, and find Mars, Thor, 
and Jesus, you're going to need a lot of structure. And current Weimar America doesn't provide it. And, you know, the wings of the same bird type with these con ops, Glenn Beck, Shapiro's making making movies is not going to provide it either. It's it's it is it is wings of the same bird. Like people getting outraged for left and right wing issues. It's like, you ever, you ever think maybe they want you outraged fighting, fighting us and not fighting the puppet masters? Like uh, the uh, the greatest example is the 2013 stuff with Occupy Wall Street, where they were getting close. They were getting close. We're gonna, it's a, uh, it's class class issues. 2013. What happened to that? It's like, and don't get me wrong, they were you know, a bunch of stoned hippies, but they were getting close to something. Like, oh, we have, there's a class issue here, and they're, and they're you know, blaming capitalism. Fair enough. It's like capitalism, communism. It's really going to be the same oligarchs at the top. Um, has have, have, What do they say? Like, communism hasn't been given a fair shot. Has fascism been given a, sh a fair shot? Guys, we could do it better this time. If I was in charge, it would be a kinder, gentler version of, uh, of it. But so they subverted, um, they subverted class into race. It's like, no, no, you guys need to fight each other instead of fighting the billionaire one-tenth of one percent. Well, it doesn't make any sense. Why would we... Like, you're saying the the plumbers are a pressure the guy in the he's got okay he's got a i don't know what a ford f-150 extended cap costs uh, like a fifty thousand dollar work truck and he's he's doing good as a electrician or tile guy or something yeah yeah that's the oppressor that that chad in a baseball cap and sunglasses who, who exercises and he's got a, a, a ford truck gas guzzler it's like yeah but he's got like those sliding out tool beds in that truck and and he, you know, then he takes the family up uh, camping on the weekends. It's like, that's the one family truck. And it's like, he's a contractor. It's like, yeah, that's the oppressor. No, that's what the, that's what these people told you. The oppressor is you, you ever think like, you know, oh, we're going to do a protest in a, like a gated community in these mansions. No, 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 no. In, in upper middle-class suburbs. Well, you're, you're just a puppet. You're just being played for puppets. Go jogging, find a, find some in-group preferences. Anyway. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Your channel is so fucking weird. I know, I know, but it's 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 like to, to not you just like I just don't. YouTube is just like I'm gonna, if I'm on YouTube, I'm gonna try to drop as many dog whistles as I can while I'm, while I'm on YouTube before I'm uh, shown the door. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks to everyone who joined the uh, subscribe star in the Odyssey. Apps a fan friggin' fantastic. To uh, thanks for this. Thanks for the Odyssey members. That is absolutely amazing. And I will see you guys all next episode.